गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फिजिक्स फॉर ऑल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इंजीनियरिंग फिजिक्स लैब इम्पॉर्टेंट वाइवस क्वेश्चन राइट सो दीज इम्पॉर्टेंट वाइवस क्वेश्चन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट इज टू फाइंड इम्पिडेंस ऑफ एल सी आर सर्कट राइट सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डिफाइन इम्पिडेंस एंड दैट इज इट इज रेजिस्टेंस ऑफर्ड बाय द एल सी आर सर्कट सेकेंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज वाई कैपेसिटर ब्लॉक्स डायरेक्ट करंट बिकॉज एज फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द डायरेक्ट करंट इज जीरो सो कैपेसिटिव रिएक्टेंस बिकम्स इनफाइनाइट राइट थर्ड इज वेन डज द सर्कट बिकम्स इंडक्टिव इन नेचर राइट इंडक्टेंस इज ग्रेटर दैन कैपेसिटेंस एंड रेजिस्टेंस सो सर्कट बिकम्स इंडक्टिव इन नेचर राइट नेक्स्ट वट आर यूनिट्स ऑफ इम्पिडेंस द यूनिट ऑफ इम्पिडेंस इज ओम्स then what is wattless current the current which does not consume any power in an ac circuit is called wattless current sixth question is what is reactance reactance it is the effective resistance offered by an inductance or capacitance to the flow of ac current right next question is differentiate between resistance and impedance resistance is the obstruction to the flow of current but impedance is the total resistance offered by RLC circuit. Okay. Next question is, what are the units of resistance, inductance, and capacitance? Units of resistance is ohms, inductance is Henry, and capacitance is farad, respectively. Next question is, define resistance. It is that de it is defined as obstruction to the flow of current, right? So, what is expression for impedance? That is Z is equal to one over n root R square plus X L square minus X E square whole square. Where the symbols have their usual meanings. R is the resistance, XL is the inductive reactance, and X is the capacitive reactance. Clear? Next experiment is to find V I characteristics of the P N junction diode, or to find voltage current characteristics of P N junction diode. So first question is what is a diode? A diode it is a device that allows the current to flow in one direction only. Right? Second question is write some types of diode. First is P-N junction diode, Zener diode, light emitting diode, photo diode, etc. Next question is what do you mean by biasing? Applying external field to the diode is called biasing. Next is what are the types of biasing? So there are two types of biasing: forward biasing and reverse biasing. Next is define least count. It is the smallest division of an instrument which can be recorded, right? Next question is what is knee voltage? the voltage at which the current rises suddenly is called knee voltage clear next seventh question is what is p n junction diode when p type semiconductor is connected to n type semiconductor p n junction diode is formed right so what is forward biasing when the p side of the diode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and vice versa it is called forward biasing right give some examples of semiconductor so examples are silicon and germanium semiconductors next question is what are semiconductors semiconductors are those materials whose conductivity lies between conductors and insulators right so next experiment to find voltage regulating characteristics of zener diode so first question is what is a zener diode a zener diode is a reverse biased diode which is used for voltage regulating characteristics okay next question draw the symbol for zener diode so this is the symbol for zener diode okay so triangle shaped structure along with the s type that is attached to it next question is draw voltage regulating characteristics of the zener diode so this is the voltage regulating characteristics along x axis that is input voltage along y axis there is a voltage and the graph is is a peak as shown in the diagram okay we will further continue with the same experiment that is to find voltage regulating characteristics of the zener diode so next fourth question is define breakdown voltage that is the forward voltage at which the current through the junction starts increasing rapidly that is called knee voltage or cut in voltage right so next fifth question why is zener diode used in reverse bias in majority of the circuits this is because in reverse bias the current rises sharply at one voltage called zener voltage next question why is zener diode dobbed to a large extent 
because this is because it works in reverse bias conditions in which to get Avalanche breakdown high doping is required next question is seventh question how does Zener diet act as a vo voltage regulation a Zener diet only allows current to flow in one direction at a certain voltage this voltage is called breakdown voltage comes only after the Avalanche breakdown takes place the increase in the voltage enters the Zener diet so the input voltage is stabilized and it can work as a voltage regulator next what happens if Zener diode is forward biased in that case if the diode is forward biased Avalanche breakdown does not take place and it cannot act as a voltage regulating device next question what are the applications of Zener diode in that case Zener diode acts as a voltage regulator it is used in stabilizers of ACs refrigerators etc right so next question is what is the effect of increasing load resistance in voltage regulating characteristics so increasing in load resistance leads to increase in output voltage afterwards the output voltage becomes constant so next experiment that is to find the band gap or to find the energy band gap of a semiconducting material right so first question is what do you mean by a semiconductor those substances whose conductivity is intermediate between conductors and insulators are called semiconductors that is silicon and germanium second question how does a semiconductor behave at zero degree kelvin it behaves like an insulator right third question third important question is what do you mean by band gap or energy band gap or forbidden gap the separation between the energy of the upper edge of a valence band and lower edge of the conduction band is called band gap or energy band gap next question is semiconductors have negative temperature coefficient of resistance explain in that case it means that resistivity of semiconductor decreases with increase in temperature so give the band gap energy values for germanium and silicon at 0 degree kelvin the germanium has value 0.74 electron volt and silicon has 1.17 electron volt band gap energy at 0 degree kelvin next question what is the position of fermi level in an intrinsic semiconductor it lies midway between the conduction and the valence band right on which factors or and on what factors does the conductivity of a semiconductor depends it depends upon first is number of current carriers second mobility of the current carriers Clear? next question is what is the value of resistivity of a semiconductor at room temperature so it lies in range 10 to 3 or 10 to power 10 to the power minus 3 to 10 to the power minus 6 ohm centimeter right that is the value of resistivity of the semiconductor next question is what do you mean by doping the process of adding an impurity is called doping and it depends upon the type of impurity semiconductors are classified as p e type and n type semiconductors depending upon the type of impurity next question is can structure of a semiconductor change by doping no structure cannot change but conductivity is largely affected okay so next experiment is to find attenuation losses in an optical fiber or to find uh, the attenuation losses of an optical fiber uh, or you can say dispersion losses uh, so first question is what do you mean by attenuation in an optical fiber it means loss of optical power in fiber it is the ratio of the output power to optical power input fed to the fiber next question is what are different losses that takes place in an optical fiber so first uh, loss is material absorption scattering mode coupling leakage bending core and cladding losses okay next question how do you express losses they are expressed in decibels per kilometer okay next question is what do you mean by leaky modes so the losses due to leaky modes arise due to irregularities in the waveguide geometry right next question which material is used in the present day communication grade fiber silica based fibers are generally used Second, is crosstalk possible in optical fiber? There is no possibility of crosstalk between an because uh, there is not. It's not possible because an optical fiber is made of silica, which is non-conductive and non-radiative. Right. Next question is what idea numerical aperture gave? It is a measure of light gathering ability of an optical fiber. Right. So again, the definition of numerical aperture is 
इट इज अ लाइट गैदरिंग एबिलिटी ऑफ फैन ऑप्टिकल फाइबर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन डज हाई टेम्परेचर डैमेज द फाइबर्स फाइबर्स आर रेजिस्टिव टू हाई टेम्परेचर्स बिकॉज सिलिका हैज हाई मेल्टिंग पॉइंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट आर द अट्रैक्टिव फीचर्स ऑफ ऑप्टिकल फाइबर फर्स्ट इज लो सिग्नल लॉस हाई बैंडवेट non conductive in nature light in weight these are the sum of the features of an optical fiber next question which principle is involved in the optical fiber communication system it is based on the principle of total internal reflection so viva was questions related to rest of the experiments i will continue in the next video thank you very much